Hey guys, uh, I was actually planning to make another video that I was originally planning to post tomorrow um, about like your guys' transfer market um, but I just haven't had time to prepare it and I'm actually going to Italy tomorrow so I'm not sure how much I'll be posting because I'll be living with my grandmother and she doesn't have internet so yeah I'm, I might not post like I might barely post these couple of days, uh, but I'll only be there until Saturday, so it's only gonna be like three or four days. Um, but yeah, I, I thought I'd make just this video because I was I really wanted to make a video about Kolarov. Um, I posted on my Instagram page today about him saying, well, not saying, but like reports saying that he doesn't he isn't very interested in going to Turkey and he wants to stay in Roma because Petraki wants him and. He's gonna have a talk with Fonseca today, or tomorrow in the coming days, anyways. Um, and there they'll probably talk about him becoming like a centre back for Fonseca. And I think this is a very good thing, like a very interesting uh, thing, because I think he could be a very good centre back. He was quite decent in Manchester City, Manchester City. At centre back, I think I only saw him a couple of games, but he was very good that uh, there. Um, but I feel like he has he has some more experience now, so he's a better like positionally. I think he's quite decent defender. Um, and now that I'm thinking about it, he's actually he's a decent defender. He's very tall. He's strong, and he's very good with the ball. He's calm with the ball. He's a good distributor of the ball. And I think offensively he has lost some of some of his qualities. Like sure, he got eight goals last season, which is insane for a left back. But he did take all the penalties and all the free kicks. I think he only got two from open play, which is decent, but nothing special. Like Florenzi got more. Um, so like I'm not saying he's a bad attacking fullback, but I think Spinazzola is better, and I think it's a waste having a player like Kolarov on the bench. So I think having a centre-back is a perfect solution. Because we need centre-backs. And if we get him and Mancini as centre-backs, I think they could be a very good pairing. Because Kolarov is like the old and experienced one who is good at positioning. Um, but kind of slow. He's also quite strong and tall. But Mancini is like the more aggressive one who is very... Like maybe is a bit, is a bit too rash at times. But there, Kolarov backs him up and like makes up for his like rashness and maybe being too aggressive. But when Kolarov gets caught out like pace wise, then Mancini is there for co to cover for him, and they're both very good with the ball. So I think this that is a very good combination, and I think like Kolarov is good in pressing play as well. He can he can do a good press and help um, help the. The team out in that way, which will be very important for Fonseca's style of play, I think. Um, so yeah, I think this is good. Also, he can be a backup to Spinazzola. Like if, if Spinazzola needs a rest or if he's injured, um, then Kolarov can can go and play, like jump in and play there, like for a couple of games. Um, we still do need two more centre backs, I think. Um, Mancini to like replace Manolas, even though he's not as good, I don't think yet. But he might become as good this season, because I mean Fonseca, I, I think he's good at developing youngsters, as Shakhtar has been quite good at that lately. And I think he will really flourish under his style of play. So yeah, I think Mancini could actually become really good. Um, and then I have looked at Bartra and he looks very good. He's so good with the ball, like really good with the ball. He is a, ex he looks such an experienced defender. Like sure he is 28, but he's not like super old. And he is, he is quite, he's tall. He's not like, he's not extremely strong, but he's still like strong enough to be a center back. And he's quite fast. Like he, he is a very good Centre-back, hard to get past. I, I like him. 
But I think maybe he wouldn't be happy with being a backup and would then Kolarov or Mancini be the backups? Maybe Mancini as a backup would be decent. Or Alderweire, but I don't know if he can work with Kolarov as centre-back because they're both kind of old and slow. Um, so in that case, I would rather go for Bartra or maybe a younger one. Like, I have talked about these, like Andersen, like... Um, we have been looking at... What's his name? The... The Saint Etienne one that I posted about on my Instagram a couple of days ago. William Saliba, I think. I think Saliba was his name. Um, so, yeah, I think that could be a, like, a good... Uh, he, he could also be a good replacement. Um, so, yeah, that's how I feel about this. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, comment down below if you agree, if you dis disagree. And um, yeah, check out my Instagram, uh, Roma, Con uh, Roma English, uh, for like regular news updates and stuff. And I won't be posting much in the coming days, but yeah, you'll, you'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Saturday, I definitely will be back. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, bye.